Mark Cockpit is your assistant on the road. You can ask the AI to find a place, adjust a seat, and occasionally drive for you. Are consumers jumping on this interim product's bandwagon? We might still need to wait to uh, 2030, around some, somewhere there, that we can see a very substantial breakthrough into a, a very advanced level of autonomous driving. Uh, if we calculate by hardware, uh, by uh, operating system, and also by uh, uh, some of the, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the very specific technology, usually we, we say that in China the market size is about 100 billion RMB. And also globally, the size is about 400 billion RMB. And if we look at the market size, uh, market growth, and generally we believe that uh, until 2025, uh, I think it's about 11 percent. And uh, from uh, 2025 to uh, 2030, we believe the growth rate is about uh, 7 percent. So comparing with the cars, I think it's still pretty good. Data is essential for artificial intelligence. And China has a lot of data, especially for autonomous driving research. Just look at the crazy traffic in Shanghai and Beijing, the complex road systems, and sometimes wild driving styles here. You know this is the country for more sophisticated autonomous driving research. And local companies are capitalizing on that advantage. Meet Neo, a New York Stock Exchange listed Chinese auto company. It makes electric cars and invests in its own AI technology. Smart Cockpit is vital for Neo. Our teams in both China and the U.S. are working on it together. Different from buying smart auto parts and systems from others, our strategy is developing our own AI systems so we control our technologies. Initially, it was huge investment. Now it has paid off as we hear positive feedback from our customers. Neo wants to turn cars into mobile lounge rooms that run on data. Consumers now believe that cars must be intelligent. With data, smart cars can improve themselves day after day. Like our ESA model, its battery system self-improves every day with data it collects. And the software system upgrades and adds on new functions with every use. These type of cars become better products with time, in terms of both hardware and software. That means there will be hardly any dominator in the market as traditional automakers are strong in hardware and tech companies are leading in AI systems. I would say both of the parties want to do a lot of things with the customer, so they are gaming with each other. And also you see uh, some of the OEMs, they have built up a very strong internal supplier base. Also we see some of the OEMs, uh, some of the suppliers, they want to go to the car making business as well. That level of competition is likely to extend the auto value chain as more suppliers are getting involved, especially as automakers are expanding their AI power from the cockpit to the entire car. That means those who want to win the race will keep investing in production capacity for speedier manufacturing and cheaper autonomous driving cars. Xia Cheng, CGTN, Beijing.